Good morning, Maniacs. In today's video, we're gonna be talking to you about the wheel wheels. We're gonna be framing out the wheel wheels with these. There's two by twos, the same ones that we use to frame the ceiling and the walls. So, let's get to it. Previously on Gus the Struggle Boys. <laughs> We have exactly four wheel wheels, but surprisingly enough, we're not gonna be able to make the exact same ones for all the wheels. The front two wheel wheels are different dimensions than the back two wheel wheels, so not only that, but one of the wheel wheels is in the bathroom. This wheel wheel, for instance, is gonna be underneath the couch, so it's not gonna be load bearing. Nothing's gonna be sitting on it other than little stuff that we're gonna store underneath. So in order to save as much space as possible, we want to use the rest of our OSB that we use for the subfloor to frame it out. This wheel well is right inside the front entrance, so we need to make it angular enough to not close in the entryway, but big enough to also put our tiny wood stove on. This one is going to be in the toilet area, so it's definitely load-bearing. And this last one is going to be a storage closet with shelving, so it definitely has to be strong enough to hold all of our stuff. For this project, you're going to need a couple of things. Some pens, an angle, some screws, a drill, a saw, and some 2x2s. Two that was graceful. Yeah. Hold up. going to be our most basic, easy shape to make. We're going to start with this one. A few things that we forgot to mention that aren't necessary but will be very helpful in the process are clamps, for sure. And not everyone does this, but some people do. Use liquid nails or something similar to glue the bottom part of the frame to the subfloor, as well as putting in a few screws just to give it that extra hold. tells you how long ago you planned your floor plan. I just peeled up the tape so it's out of our way and the wood underneath the tape is like spotless clean and you can tell where it was. So, we dirty. Moral of the story. Today is my grandparents 61 year wedding anniversary. So my dad came out here and um, grilled some burgers and we had a nice lunch and everything. So that was really fun. I'm not quite sure how they have made it this far. I mean, people are crazy. They must not have converted a bus together. So.
once, you've heard it a million times. There isn't one way to convert a school bus. There isn't one way to build wheel wells. There isn't one way to mount your solar panels and so on. Some people will build them on the actual floor and put a piece of wood and screw it into the floor and then put a piece on top of it and screw it in. And what uh, our lovely Paco here has decided is to build the parts of it separate and then take it all together and attach them, if that makes any sense. So right now he is making the long part that goes along the front and we're putting a couple support boards in between just to give it that much more strength. By the way, because we didn't get a super great shot during the day, here is our light patches in the front and in the back. Is that our new ladder? I guess it would work as a ladder, huh? Maybe for Joey. And now presenting Luis no, Suarez Paco. I am not 20 pounds, but I will break 200 it. pound not 20. ladder balancer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Move your fat head. <laughs> Look at it. I'm so excited. So my wonderful wife got me an amazing Christmas gift. It's an extension you put on here, and then you can go ahead and put any other bit that you need on here, and then basically you can get tough spots that you wouldn't be able to get if you if it was actually on your drill, like this one. So the last step that we're going to take to attaching these to the actual bus is attaching these back parts to the back wall, uh, which will basically secure it in place. Okay, we are back and we have more wood to work with just in case we need it. And last time we showed you that it is possible to build these without any special tools, a regular circular saw, it is possible. But since we have it, since we got it for the doors that we made, we wanted to bring it just so we could get those straight lines perfect. This isn't necessary, but it will help out a lot. Not everyone has one is our point. So we showed you that it is possible, but today we're gonna be finishing the rest of them with our miter saw, our mighty miter saw that Paco is adamant to cut something off with, like a body part or a finger. That's what we're gonna work on today. We're gonna finish those other three and hopefully it doesn't take forever. So, I was up there 
Reach up here, you know. I dropped the damn bolt. I think I I get to look and I had to look and look and look and I couldn't find it. I get at me another and I put it up there, you know, and I slip out of my fingers. Ling, ling, ling. And then I got up there and I got the feeling there's a damn hole in there. Oh, they were going right through? Mm -hmm. Well, they're going inside the damn bale housing, I guess, and they're really clutching. So they weren't even on the ground. No, they're on the ground. They're inside, the, <laughs> and oh, I, I can't no. get to it. So I'll have to. Maybe they'll ride there. I don't know. <laughs> Stay there forever. <laughs> All right. So now that we've created the front piece, we now we got to create the side piece. Side piece is going to be created very similarly to the front piece, except for it's going to be shorter. So that measures to around a little bit less than two feet. We're gonna go ahead and round it up to two feet so we can have a little bit of room in there to spread the insulation in there. So we know that this height right here is gonna incorporate both this two by two. So basically all I did is I put it straight up against the wall and then I measured how tall that wall was after that. That gives me about a five and a half inch. And that's the measurement that I'll use to cut the vertical pieces. section and then two into the wall on each side. So now we're going to line the bottom with liquid nails so we can put our screws in. Number two, done, knocked out, perfect, couldn't be better. Now we're on to platform number three, which is gonna be a little bit more tricky. This one is the one that is right in the entrance. So we wanna angle it to take up the least amount of space we can in this front little walkway. Excuse me, sir, what do you think about the next wheel well? It's not gonna be easy. But we'll get it done. You heard it here first. We're gonna get it done. Oh my gosh. Why do you have so much energy? Joey, what do you have to say about the wheel wheels? Uh, I think they look really good. I think mommy and daddy can do anything and they do everything perfect and I love them. Aww. Thank you, Joey. Welcome, daddy. I get treat them. No, no treats.
thank you so much for watching we hope that you enjoyed the video find it entertaining or educational it, the third wheel wheel took us a little bit longer than we expected because it had all the 45 degree angles and we were a bit unsure of how to join them with the screws but we figured that out and we did it like you just saw so we're really really happy with the way they turned out this is how we decided to do our wheel wells like i said other people use different types of wood or different shapes and it all depends on what your floor plan is as well or how you plan on boxing them in what you plan on putting on top of them we do still have the one under the couch that's left but because it's just going under the couch it's really not that important it's going to be covered up it's not going to be supporting anything the only other thing we might do differently for these is add supports for the ones that are holding things up, but we can't do that until after, maybe after spray foam or what, however we're insulating them or we close them in. Let us know how you built yours and uh, comment down below what you liked or didn't like about the video. Give it a big, big, big thumbs up if you liked the video. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're not, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe button right now. And as always, don't forget to enjoy your life. Stay positive. I keep going places. Suckers!